Let's now discuss Parkinsonism as adverse effect of antipsychotic agents. Parkinsonism is one of the acute neurological side effects seen when using antipsychotics. The term Parkinsonism refers to a clinical syndrome that has the following features. Mask-like facies, also known as hypomimia, resting tremor, bradykinesia, which is a slowness of movement, cutwheel rigidity, shuffling gait, and psychomotor retardation. The first evidence of uh, Parkinsonism may be a diminished arm swing or decreased facial expressiveness. Peer rolling movements and other types of resting tremor may be seen, although they are less prominent in antipsychotic induced Parkinsonism than idiopathic par Parkinsonism. In this slide, we can see on the left a sagittal view of the brain showing the nigrostriatal dopamine pathway. Normally, there is a balance between acetylcholine and dopamine activity in the basal ganglia. The right figure depicts an abnormal situation, an imbalance between dopaminergic and cholinergic neurotransmission. As you can see, there is a clear predominance of cholinergic activity over dopaminergic activity. The mechanism of extrapyramidal symptoms involves relative dopamine deficiency in the nigrostriatal pathway. In Parkinson's disease, there is a loss of dopaminergic neurons in the pars compacta of the substantia nigra. In the case of antipsychotic-induced Parkinsonism, there is no cellular death in the pars compacta, but there is a blockade of D2 receptors in the dopamine pathway. Regarding the management of antipsychotic-induced Parkinsonism, one should first try dose reduction of the antipsychotic agent. The problem is that sometimes patients show extrapyramidal symptoms at minimal effective doses. In these cases, lowering the dose would leave the antipsychotic out of the therapeutic range. So, when dose reduction is not possible, anticholinergic agents are used. Some drugs in this class include triexyphenidyl, benzotropin, and biperidin. Blockade of muscarinic receptors in the basal ganglia bed by anticholinergic agents is often effective in reducing extrapyramidal symptoms. Amantadine is another drug that has proven effective in the management of EPS. It modulates presynaptic dopamine release. Anticholinergic agents have adverse effects too. Blockade of muscarinic receptors by this class is not limited to the nigrostriatal pathway. The side effects can be divided into central and peripheral. Muscarinic antagonism in the central nervous system can cause cognitive impairment, delirium, and hyperthermia. This is especially relevant in the elderly population. Peripheral side effects include dry mouth, ocular disturbances such as blurred vision and, glau and glaucoma, alterations in bowel motility that can lead to constipation and ileus and urinary retention. We started this slide in the Mechanism of Action lecture. It is included as a reminder of the relationship between D2 receptor occupancy and the risk of extrapyramidal symptoms. The concept is that an antipsychotic dose that produces more than 78% of D2 receptor occupancy poses a higher risk of extrapyramidal side effects.